Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Hollywood, <laughs> and I'm here with... Steve Hollywood Holman. <laughs> That's your wrestling name. Holy hey. shit. <laughs> Well, you said it in the in your video now. I, I did, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. that's your yeah, that's your name. You gotta live up to it now. <laughs> and I'm here with Pamela and Farmer John and the dude. Boy. So, what the fuck's going on over in Orlando? Well, there um there was a bit that Adam Carolla used to do on his show and it was everything terrible happens in Florida or Germany. <laughs> and that was the and you know he would it's read off true. Yeah and he would read off headlines and like the the game was is it Florida or Germany? It's really like, you know read off the headlines. But, uh, but I guess on a serious note, so uh, forty nine people were killed in a nightclub and fifty three injured. So that's pretty brutal. You know, for when it comes, to 49 were killed and 53 were injured, which is pretty mild considering, like, if it's supposed to be one shooter, right? I mean, that's, that's the idea, is that it was one yeah. shooter. And it's being pulled up as the worst murder in history. Something. Yeah. Yes. Which, did they forget Wounded Knee? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and a plethora Worry of about all the blacks too. in, yeah. what, the 20s? Yeah. 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 The, the government shot. Uh, uh. Local military. But um, I think some other uh, things going on with the case. It was a gay bar. Mm -hmm. He was supposedly Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, he is supposedly gay. Mm -hmm. um, his parents were supposedly CIA, I heard. Mm -hmm. Um, what other associations? The drugs. Um, he used, uh, what was it, uh, the M16. Oh, AR? AR-15, AR yeah. yeah. The one they want to ban. Yeah. So well, this yeah. is, uh, hate crime terrorism. Right. Gun ban. Radicalized via the internet. Uh, oh, oh, and he said he was ISIS. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that's a very important part. He said he was ISIS. I mean, pledged to ISIS or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and of course he did it on like Twitter or something, right? I don't know that part, but didn't like the in San Bernardino they, they did that on like Facebook or something. Two hours before, I think. Yeah, the he shooting. called 911 and said he pledged. To oh yeah, to called. Yeah. Called 911. Yeah. But I heard that was two hours beforehand. Oh, he faced it on yeah, post. But he posted on Facebook, two hours oh. prior to the incident. Hmm. That he had done that. It just all smells like bullshit to me. Hey kids. So I just called 911 and said, I'm loyal to ISIS. Hold on, let me take a selfie and put this on Facebook. You know, <laughs> like, well, you know, did he, because that's what, I mean, right? It was a, you know, did he, Well, know. since he didn't leave his, like, full identity passport. Oh, yeah, 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 that's he right. He had to leave, uh, you know, it's another audio record. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He was also on antidepressants. Okay, yeah. That's which a really makes, thing. what was that, 100% now? <laughs> yeah, pretty the, much. Yeah, the there, so. shooters were on antidepressants. Yeah. I mean, and, and that is, you know, I mean, that's a whole thing in itself. We can almost do a whole show on that. You know, just the whole thing with antidepressants, because um, well, they talk about that gun control and antidepressants, and think about it. The majority of former military that get out are on antidepressants because of PTSD, mm -hmm. and they're going to keep guns from them. So, but they're yeah. supporting it. It's just it's such a contradiction to me. Yeah. I, the, uh, you know, I mean, the, the amount of people that are on, like, uh, antidepressants and what is it, uh, SSRIs, SSRIs. And, and things like that is, is really kind of wild. And if we're going to think of, like, you know, uh, I don't, I don't want to dwell on this too much because it's just kind of dark. And, but I guess this whole show is going to be dark. Um, but the, uh, so, you know, we think about, like, well, what if the economy collapses and this and that? Well, what are we gonna have? Where are we going to get food? Where are we going to get water? All that sort of stuff. Think about all the people who are in SSRIs that are not going to be able to get them. And those are things that you're not, you're supposed to wean your way off them. And all of a sudden, if you cannot get that, like, that's going to be a lot of people who are going to be in a very bad psychological state. Oh, on top of the fact that the economy collapsed. You know what I mean? Like, it would be, How ugh. can you low make the, um, the, what they're going to feel better? As they're going off of it. Um, 
Maybe. I just want to make sure I have a lot of it. So Maybe smoke well, some weed. I don't you know. You can sell it on the black market. Yes. Definitely so invest in antipsychotics yeah. right now. So what is it that that will help <laughs> That's them? That's a dark fucking spin. <laughs> Stark, stark part that of that one. shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when the ball drops, you say, dude. You know, I, uh, it's, uh, Remember on that, the whites, the... <laughs> The great whites of the West Virginia or whatever. He's like the Kung Paul with oxycodone. <laughs> it's gonna be like that. Xanax. Dude, you look like you're wigging, man. You need to talk to me. <laughs> what, what do you want? <laughs> the trench coat filled with Christie's black market fake. Um, uh, fake? No, no, no. I want people to, to not feel the pain. I well, no, 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 but like synthetic, like you made it yourself in like a bathtub, like you oh, put gin in like prohibition. Well, can we do that? <laughs> 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 yeah, bathtub Xanax? Bathtub Xanax. Psilocybin, man. Uh, I, yeah, that would probably, like, I'm, you, but that's like, okay. but serious question, I, like, I know. probably yeah. that, you know, like maybe you're just like, hey, do you want to get high, smoke some weed? Oh, but then again, like I've known people no, who are like on like true. SSRIs, they can't smoke weed. They really? like it. They're, they're, they get super weird. They've told me like, oh no, no, no. like kind of like almost like a, you know really deep down like, oh, if you want to smoke a bowl or something. Oh no, can't do that. <laughs> like really, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, up, yeah. I guess they were in implying that this young man was on SSRIs and had some gay phobia, went to Orlando. Lived in Fort Pierce, drove an hour, an hour and a half, two hours to go kill gay people, as opposed to going closer somewhere, West Palm Beach. What about all the former military that are on SSRIs, mm -hmm. that have complete trauma from experiencing, you know, firing, killing people, and watching people die? It's like, but they're targeting a Muslim or an apparent, you know, Islamic. Mm -hmm. Rather than the drugs. rather than yeah, just the an American yeah. soldier, yeah, because yeah. they're pushing an agenda. Is my point with that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, why not go for the harder? They're going where they can strike the most fear. Right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if he was really, de you know, if he's so devoutly mo Muslim that he, you know, said he's a part of ISIS and whatnot, like isn't the, the one picture they have of him? He's like fairly clean shaven. There was one yeah. where he had uh, some fire department, New York fire department, like he supported them. Uh, Even after 9-11, folks would wear hats and right. jerseys and things. He had an NYPD shirt, too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Mm. They took and the security firm for which he worked. He seems pretty indoctrinated was, American yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I mean... The one that, the one that uh, will always stick in my mind, not to get too off topic, but will always stick in my mind as just being nuts, was uh, uh, certain elements of the Boston bombing. Like the, like the one of the, one of his friends had like a brand new uh, Cadillac, which there's no way he really could have afforded, like on the job that the kid was working on, with a vanity plate that said, "Wait for it, terrorist one." And that was like, and there's pictures of like him with his buddy who owns the car, brand new, and they're like standing there, and there's the license plate on this is Terry Easton one, and then like a year after that picture is taken is when the Boston bombing happened. It's like, well, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute, that's kind of kind of wild. How did this kid get this brand new car? But you also you got know? the the weird stuff with the guy, the, the cowboy dude. I think he's Puerto Rican or something, but hmm. he's Latino, and he but he's the cowboy one where the cowboy. Pushing the guy in the wheelchair all the way down the, all over the place. Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of backwards shit on him too. That I, I didn't, I didn't know about that, that part, but. Well, think about all the violation of privacy. We're listening to conversations and monitoring text messages and Facebook messages and emails. Mm -hmm. So apparently, the whole purpose of TSA and the Patriot Act is to protect us. Mm. The government needs a surveillance to keep an eye on those who are infiltrating against the uh, true American population. Shouldn't they know about this motherfucker? Yeah, and now it's that, all yeah, just a mystery. All this investigation is yeah. creating this yeah. credible information against this guy. I mean, they this can't is, know everything, but, but, but really? Did, but that's what they did for 9 11. This is actually a effectively the official narrative right is that uh, all these agencies new pieces had all the pieces to mm -hmm. put it together but they weren't they really weren't communicating to right yeah so they couldn't put the whole picture together and 
it's just uh, it will get better and next time it won't happen and by the way we need to take some of your freedoms in the meantime yeah <laughs> because <laughs> doing that how long was 9-11 I mean that was, that was what good a decade ago, ago. They they have probably years, done yeah. though uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, like, that sort of thing is like, oh, well, they need to communicate better, so we need the uh, Department of Homeland Security, a whole other agency to help the CIA pick up a fucking phone or something. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, you can't call, like, hey, we were just noticing this guy in Britain acting very weird, and then he traveled over here, you know, so now that's like FBI purview sort of stuff. How do we tell the FBI that there's a guy from England over here acting weird. Sorry, hey guys, does anybody know how to do that? Do we like, should we like make a paper airplane and like try to send it over to exactly. Washington and see if like somebody at the FBI catches it? Or do we send up smoke signals? Hey, should we call them on a phone? No, 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 we don't know, we, we can't communicate on phones. We should have like another agency that communicates with people. <laughs> like yeah, that was, the, that, I remember that, to be in line, like really, they can't communicate to each other. Like okay. it reminds me of Office Space. Uh -huh. <laughs> because but the because the then. programmers aren't good with talking with people. <laughs> so I talk to the programmers, <laughs> so they don't have to. And then he gets fired. But they're not good with talking with people. Well, yeah, I know, but it's just like uh, it was, you know, it was just make an example of like weird corporate stuff and how you know extra layers of stuff they don't need. So, do you guys truly believe it was a terrorist act, or is it the government was I don't involved think it, in somehow? I don't think it matches the definition of a terrorist act. Well, we looked that up it's, the other day, so it's any type of coercion against another. It's for a political end. Specifically, yeah, political. And this didn't appear to be political in any but way. But it all ties but together with the... But he said he was isis yeah. <laughs> With the oh, political elections, uh, right? People who claim to be ISIS can't do independent Immigration. Things. You know, yeah. the whole transgender. If you're a man, you have a penis, but you're a woman, you can't pee next to me. I mean, all kind of melding together yeah, at some point. They're, you know, they're, they're going to get as many different narratives out, out of it as they can to, you know, do either, you know, make you afraid or do the whole divide and conquer thing, like, let's, 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 you know, I mean, how, like, it still kind of blows my mind that that was, like, a, a topic of conversation for, like, weeks on, you know, like, cable news was like, so what do you think about who should pee in what room? <laughs> like, really, that was, like, on the news all the time, like, ah. Is it okay? I, if didn't like I, I, yeah. just, I didn't watch it once the whole time, so it, good. That good. Was, good. Good. It, it, is, it was kind of funny to me how there was, a, I mean, you know, I bumped into, outside of our circle, a couple people talking about it. Oh, so you actually good. found somebody talking so, about it? Okay, so right. I was just kind of wondering, now it makes sense why yeah. there was these conversations <laughs> going on, because they were being parents, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> well, that, well, that blows my theory, because like, I hadn't heard anybody talk about it like in passing, you know, like going to a coffee shop or restaurant. I hadn't heard a thing about it. So to me, it was just one of the things like, are they really just trying to sell this because nobody even watches this anymore, you know? Because like, I didn't hear anybody talk about it, but John said he did, so... It always makes me think of Yellow Deli. Their bathroom is uh, yeah. signposted, whatever you are. Yeah, right? Or whoever yeah, you are. Yeah, like that. That is nice. Identical bathrooms, just, you know, but there's a pot to piss in. You know you know what to do. You know, the door locks. Yeah, you're, you're good, you know. No, it's not like that, but it's at that place, it's like a latch. You know, like, it's not going anywhere. Nobody's going to get in there. It's like a castle door. Well, then they'll say, well, we're not really talking about those kind of bathrooms anyway. We're talking about, like, like, uh, like gym rooms, <coughs> like, like showers at a gym. Well, then it would all be adults, because the other angle was like, well, would you be comfortable Or at with... a school. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't, I, I, so, <laughs> what are they trying to hide? What is going on in the world right now? I heard something about Germany, some shit's going down, um, I don't that know, they're but... not focusing media's attention on, or the public, and everything is kind of being, the puppet show is going on with the whole shooting in Orlando, keeping folks you know, focused on that and not right, really yes. what's going on that mm -hmm. really needs attention. Yeah, which is typical and it's like just kind of and, yeah. seems to be repetitive throughout. I heard one that it was yeah. while that was going on, they're like, Hey guess what? Women can be drafted now. 
Like that was. Why like, do women want that? Can I ask you that? <laughs> Why do you care? What? Why? I don't want to fight people. Okay, do uh, not draft my ass. I do not want to be equal to a man. I am cool. Okay. On this date, I don't want to be equal to a man either. I am not shooting out to anybody. <laughs> Fucking stop asking me. No, I will not support that. I mean, really, I, I we want to be equal to men. Why? That came up in my uh, poli sci class last yeah. year. Last year. Uh, and most people said, oh, yeah, it should be equal. They should both. I said, no, neither of them should have. Yeah, I was just going to exactly. say, you know what? If, if you're going with equality of what is, yes, it should be equal. Both men and women should, you know. Should have the right to do what they choose to do. Well, no, yes. but, but I'm not yeah. advocating they be forced for women to, to do have it, the but, right to do it. But they shouldn't be forced to do it. In the end, they should. nobody should be forced to do it. Right. It should. Voluntary. Yes. It just. I was just getting If I was a good statist, if I really believed in the military, yeah, both of them should go do it. It shouldn't just be men. It should be men and women. But I'm not. Did and so I'm saying they're both hiding bad. behind the hole that it's military. It's just, I'm just as strong as a man. Why can't I go fight? Why? The, the, chair, the chair find, like, a different dimension <laughs> than status, Christy? Yeah, that's kind of scary. What? Like, a, other dimension, dimension, like, terrifying Christy statist? Like, okay. if that's who you were? Like, yeah, that's kind of scary. Oh, yeah, that's a scary thought. Yeah, I don't oh, like I that thought. Oh, I think you misunderstood what you were saying. No, 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 no. With like a long time ago, or a, no, 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 no. Like you're like saying, that, like, yeah, if if you were well, like that, that put, was the argument. Yes, I did. Views. I had to put myself in the situation because I remember having those thoughts of control. We right. have to control things. We have to because yeah. this is the way. Um, it functions better. We're going to control Free it. Free is a great thing, but too so, much of it. You just yeah, can't, no, you can't have that. Yeah. So, right. yeah. so it's, um, it, it's a control for the betterment of um, efficiency. Okay? You have to control certain I'm just saying I'm not, not there right now. Uh -oh. but, so that, I, can, I can remember my status <laughs> that, like, mind being a good status would do idea. this. Mm. It will control certain things, and and I'm like, if I put that myself control, in, the, yeah. in a in a status mind, I can, yeah, of course they would do certain things. I always kind of thought right those status. like those purge movies were all like propaganda. That it was like, see, look what happens when yeah. you don't have a government for a day. Yeah. It's woo, it's really crazy, yeah. you know. Like it's kind of like I mean, like the first one that came out, I'm like that's just some weird propaganda thing, like you know. And then they literally came out with the one that was. Uh, Purge anarchy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, super. Yeah, like, I'm not sure you guys are really getting what we're trying to say here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me spell it out for you. And now it's purge the election year. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's going to be really bad this time. Blue team versus red team. <laughs> Status with a toupee or status with a pencil. Purge. Total what do you chaos want? would have been better than purge anarchy in any way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, to convey a point of what they're trying to convey. Mm. Total chaos would have been better than anarchy. Yeah. But because it's a double whammy and they get to to to, to poison a world view, they use a, the you know the to take the opportunity mm -hmm. to, to dumb us down with a word, right? Sorry about that. No, the Purge movie series. Yeah, well, I've never didn't see that. Okay, so it's like it's been like a concept, you know, a couple of stories and like sci-fi shows going back like decades, and essentially that there is like you know the the society is perfectly peaceful. Like everybody's like it's along really well, and then Everybody's you almost step for yeah 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 kind of getting yeah. along, you know. And you as the viewer, you're like, oh, this is so like wonderful. What could possibly be be wrong about this civilization? And then you find out that they have one day of the year where if you want to kill somebody, you can kill oh, somebody. One day out of the year. Yeah. You purge the evil in you oh, wow. on that one day. Yeah. And it's okay. Oh, and there's, there's yeah. amnesty. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That would be like God. the Wild West. Yeah. 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 The Wild West was apparently not that bad it either. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. It was, they made it sound like it was bad. Because well. they wanted power. Oh, yeah, because uh, those were all territories. They weren't states yet. Like, oh, this is, they've got to be states and have a yeah. little capital that, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, anyone watch the different video from different uh, witnesses from the shooting in Orlando? Mm. So, my perspective is I've watched a few videos, and some describe it as being just like fire shots that like you would hear just pop pop mm. pop 
And obviously another person said that it blended so with the music you thought it was part of the song. Mm -hmm. Until it went past like five or seven, then they realized it was actual fire. Um, but then another person said that it was like a, a spray shot, like a, like an Uzi, like just straight, you know. Mm -hmm. Do we perceive fire shots differently? Are we being fair and respecting that idea? Or is it, I think there's a huge difference between pop, 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 and don't you think? Yeah, and perhaps then, not if you're panicking now. Time Some works. of the videos I saw, folks were just hanging out and dancing, having a good time, and then I draw, they're like, whoa, what's that? Maybe on an E. I don't know. You know, yeah, but I mean, there's a possibility. Slow yeah. response to it. But I, I, to me, it's just so. Uh, well, it's a safe space. That kind of stuff's not supposed to happen because yeah. guns well, aren't I've allowed. Well, I've been in nightclubs in England, <laughs> and it's so loud. You don't really know anything else going on in yeah. the music that you're hearing, especially if you're on the dance floor. So. But yeah. it, but I'm like thinking of like an AR-15 outside is an incredibly loud weapon. See, I'm not familiar. It's with that loud as shit. Is it? Yeah, like you were like you. You know, like gun, there are guns you can fire without earplugs in, and you're kind of like, I probably should have had earplugs in. Mm -hmm. You know, but like to me, when I fired it, it was like, oh well, that's gonna like not gonna be able to hear shit for like the rest of the day. Where's the rifle? Pistols yeah. were a whole lot. I just recently they shot. Are. Yeah, oh, pistols, pistols are a whole lot louder than a. Uh, well, I'm just pistols trying to think. Like, it's like a. You, uh, I may or may not have a 9mm, and it sure as hell doesn't sound as loud as an AR-15. So maybe it's just the caliber that I have, or, or may or may not have. Excuse me, I don't want to say that I actually <laughs> but have it was, any it's sort of weapon Maybe it was the well, gun you were shooting, too. Have you shot one? Because mm -hmm. not all guns are, e <laughs> are equal. Yeah, so... I, I don't, the, I don't recall bullets. that being a or real bullets. issue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or the bullets. Yeah, you can shoot, like... You can shoot an AR without having that too much problem, yeah. But I, I don't know. I don't so in a nine millimeter, you can get away with that in those first few rounds of it. But moving up to like a forty or a forty-five. Well, right. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah oh it's excruciating. Yeah. Excruciating. Yeah. 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 I had things on, and I just tipped it over, and it's like, oh yeah, my god. Yeah, I know. I uh, know, dude. He's got a, yeah. a, a very nice uh, forty like revolver, and that you loud as shit. Yeah, that definitely. But I'm. But I guess the, to the point I'm trying to make is that. I mean, it's incredibly loud outside. Yeah. And yeah. inside, yeah. like, yeah. I, yeah, it's, like, much worse because the sound isn't going anywhere. Yeah. So I just don't see how, like, for how long is somebody really going to think, oh, that's just the music before you're just, like, there's, a there's like, it's a different type of sound, too. It's a percussion sound. It's not a, you know, it's not a bass, you know, Yeah, but if you've speaker. been drinking or doing other you things, you're not in your right mind. You're, well, you're not like, thinking. You, right, it's a safe space. It's a safe space, It's a, especially because it's a no-gun zone, you know. <laughs> We're safe. You know, it's amazing yeah. as well. Thanks, sweet baby Jesus. The hospital was half a block away or one block away. Oh, huh. three hours later? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was like a block away. Yeah, no, so but three hours later, respond. nobody responded. That was part of the problem, is that some of the people bled out because nobody came from the hospital for three uh, hours. And the police department Why? says they could have shot some of them, too. You see I that? Don't know. The, the, oh, I know. Yeah, the, there was a they security guard. They didn't want to shoot yeah. because uh, they might shoot a civilian. Yeah. Like they've oh. ever been. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, so yeah. much yeah. for yeah. consideration. On, a, on, a, on an average day, you know. It's just not shoot civilians. I mean, there's, 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 I mean, yeah, there's really. I have personally witnessed cops shoot into a house that they had no idea who was in it. Wow. Yeah. Shooting, oh, yeah. shooting at a Protecting guy the running, serving folks. running away. Protecting the serving. Shooting at a guy running away. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's like, that's that's general rule of like, you know, any sort of honor is that you don't shoot at Fields somebody. Fields of fire? Yeah. <laughs> in the, you don't shoot somebody in the back. Well. You know, like if somebody is fleeing, it's, you don't shoot them in the back. You know, unless they're, of course, they're like, I don't know, have a baby at knife point or something. Other than that, <laughs> like, you don't shoot somebody in the back. Are but you supposed to get, like, five seconds of eye time? Like, no, but okay, like, you'd like it, no, but it, it, it's it, no longer defensive. Yeah, 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 it's not defense. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to go to the bad and the ugly. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no, I know where you're going from. All right. Uh, uh, great movie, by the way. It was. Good, bad, and the ugly. But so, what, is, what have the older new shootings taught us? Anything? Apparently, somebody will shut, keep the door shut, so you can't escape. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the, the big thing that says him. like emergency exit, don't lock during business hours. Apparently, somebody thought the best thing to do was to lock it. There had to have been more than one no, exit. Was I can't him. imagine. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, you can't like. I mean, uh, yeah, the it's just not allowed that, for that. There's too many people trying to get out of one one doorway. It's just not feasible. Yeah, I mean, and there's they been plenty other, of times yeah. with like in clubs where there's been like fires. And that's why there's more than one exit because like you have hundreds of people in there and if they're going to go through two double doors. That yeah, that's, that's bad scene. I think we just have to sit back and wait for the ridiculousness to fall out even more, and then slowly. With a bill right behind it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like what you said today with the Center for a Stateless Society that Arthur really wrote out that article well. Yeah. Basically, that's what it's geared toward. It's just yeah. more control. Yeah. It's happening, folks, whether we know it or not, or realize it or want it. Yeah, See, there's a good article away. on C4S, Mussolini or Nixon, uh, don't vote, resist, it's time to resist, something of that nature, it's a good article. The analogy of, compares Trump to Mussolini and uh, Clinton to, to Nixon. Hmm. I suppose if Trump didn't have any hair, he would definitely look like Mussolini. In a, in a, <laughs> and in a sense, if he wasn't like dyed orange and, you know, didn't have... <laughs> Paint his eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, he might kind of look a little Mussolini. <coughs> yes. I think you should have Photoshop that and see how that works out. Like, yeah. Oh, that would be kind of morphic. Yeah, okay. Il Duce. What was yeah. this? Clinton then, was at a, uh, a certain uh, posting station for vol- or voting station for, or polling station for voting for Hillary Clinton. With the megaphone, and he was 150 feet from the front door. Mm-hmm. And and morph, mm. morph Hillary into, into Nixon. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Nixon with breasts. Yeah. It would be really funny and if, really like, strangely, you, you get the software hooked up and it really wasn't that difficult. You're like disturbed by it. You're like, oh, that really wasn't like that big of a difference. You just kind of a little change here, a little change there. The tits, all right. I mean, wow, Nixon and Hillary was that? That was, that was disturbingly close. <laughs> And then you have Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> then you have Futurama. <laughs> Just need to have this body of Agnew. <laughs> Where's the headless body of Agnew? <laughs> oh, Futurama. Oh, man. Of course Nixon's the president of Futurama. That's too good. Oh, oh in uh, The Watchmen, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's all in his, like, fourth term. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Watchmen, yeah. Oh, his fifth term, actually. It was, yeah, fourth. Yeah, I can't He's quite remember. stupid, yeah. Yeah. And they even had like a discussion at the beginning of it where they're like, well, it was either Nixon or the commies win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <sighs> yeah no, The Watchmen is a very dark but very, very good uh, it's another show. graphic novel. Uh, oh. the Watch- well, it is a movie, but it's from a comic. Yeah, I don't know the really comic. Well. I know it as a movie. I really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, it, they're almost identical, <laughs> minus like one or two different little scenes that kind of weren't. It's a graphic novel, damn it! Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a comic book, and then a graphic novel is usually the, the compilation of X number of issues or whatever. So, so I guess it was like a two-year-old taken at uh, at Disney World, also uh, in Orlando. Yeah, yeah Orlando is just a bad tragic, scene. Tragic, yeah, tragic week for Orlando. Yeah, just so bad. Yeah, d- at Disney World, you got a lot of. Christian pastors and evangelicals. And it was radicalized on the net? Oh, the crocodile? What happened yeah. with that? No, it was, it was <laughs> God's wrath on, on Orlando. Uh, Part of oh, God's geez. wrath. But wow. The, the, the gator had ISIS ties. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Radicalized <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, uh, it was funny in my head. And, uh, did, did the... Cro- like, because it was at Disney World, did the crocodile have like a clock in his stomach, though? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's taking boys. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, oh. but I had to. That's when they, when they started killing them looking right, for body parts, right. yeah, they found a clock, right? They went yeah, up. That's another fucked up part of the, the story. Oh, yeah. They killed what, like five or six alligators trying oh, to find yes. the one. The oh, remains of the boy, it, yeah. It's not like How many not are they like, going to do until they Until find they it. find the remains that's of the boy. Sick. PETA. Welcome to Florida, y'all. Yeah. I'm a Floridian as well, I can say that. <laughs> the, kick, kick, kick. the price of alligator boots just plummeted. <laughs> yeah, you can find me a purse on eBay real cheap. 
Wow, this 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 <laughs> show. Man, this, 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 I, I knew this one was gonna get dark. I mean, I'm totally kidding. That was my guess, and it turns out. So this is a conspiracy started by the crocodile farmers yeah. <laughs> to, to stick it to the alligator farmers? <laughs> to then uh, make more alligator boots? But how does that relate to a nightclub in Orlando? I don't know. <laughs> Isis. I told Isis. you the alligator yeah. was, oh, was had Isis ties. Nice alligator. Take some robot sex as well. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I suppose like if, it, I mean, I, I I could see an alligator like trying to get Randy with a mechanical alligator. Yeah, sure. That it might be, be like sentient, but it was like in, in a, a alligator form. Alligator. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Close enough. We did it. <laughs> 